Hi guys, welcome to Shorty Home Cooking. Are you guys ready for today? Let's get started. So this time I'm cooking pickled Japanese horse mackerel or shime aji. So first of all, I'm gonna remove the scut out of its skin. Actually, this fish doesn't have the scales like the other fish, but instead they have this kind of scale. It is quite hard, you can't definitely eat it, so slide a knife under the scut and remove it. It's not as difficult as it looks. So after that, let's take off the head and the guts. And here, you wanna cut off the head diagonally. Then open the belly and scrape off the guts carefully. And that yellow thing is actually the roe of the horse mackerel. And next, I'm making an incision along the backbone. By the way, I bought two of them, and this is the other one. If you wanna practice filleting a fish, this is the one for you. And the next thing you want to do is to clean the inside under cold running water. You need to do it very gently, never damage the flesh. Then with a very clean cloth, wipe out the moisture. And don't forget to do the inside too. Okay, what do we do next? Yes, filleting. Make an incision along the belly side first, and this time I'm gonna cut through just like this. So keep your knife flat against the bones, that way you're gonna waste nothing on the bones. And if you get used to this way, it's actually very easy and quick. And here is one fillet off. Okay, let's turn that over. And I'm making an incision along the back side. And keep doing it until the knife gets to the backbone. Okay, turn it around. And again, let your knife do the work. And the last thing, put your knife through near the tail. And let's go. And this is the most satisfying part for me. Anyway, filleting done. And this is what you wanna see after filleting. Nothing on the bones, okay? So next, I'm gonna cure the fillet with salt for about 20 minutes. So get yourself a tray and spread the salt all over it. Then place your fillet gently. The purpose for this is actually not season the fillet. It's more like to get rid of the excess water out of the fish. So here comes another rain of salt. Be quite generous, use a lot of salt. Then leave it for 20 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the garnish. And this is urui, a kind of vegetable, well, obviously. And you can only find it at the supermarket in this season, spring. And here comes one of my favorite garnish, Myoga. And on the internet, it is described as Japanese ginger, but it doesn't taste like ginger at all. Can anyone tell me why? Anyway, have a look at this liquid. It's all from those fillets. So what you want to do next is to rinse off the salt in vinegar. And just for you, you don't need this much vinegar. My mistake. After you washed off the salt, it's time to marinate the fillets in vinegar. 15 minutes on each side. So after the first 15 minutes, flip over those fillets upside down. At the same time, I'm going to make kimizu. Well, this is like Japanese mayo, and here's the ingredients. 
two egg yolks, one tablespoon of vinegar, water, two teaspoons of sugar, and a pinch of salt. So it's like a mayo without oil. Then I'm gonna heat it up over the simmering water. And you need to keep stirring very carefully. Because the egg yolk is gonna be easily cooked. But I wanna keep this texture very nice and smooth. So once you start doing this, never let your eyes off the bowl. And can you see the consistency of the egg yolk? Well, that was a bit too overcooked and I wanted a bit more acidity, so I'm adding an extra vinegar to it. And this is what I wanted. Nice and smooth. So it's been 15 minutes. Turn them over and wait for another 15 minutes. And ta-da! So in total, 30 minutes in vinegar has passed. So you wanna wipe the surface to get rid of the vinegar. Like so. Then I'm going to remove the rib bones. Then you've got to pull out the pin bones. And when you do this, be very careful not to break the flesh. And of course, never leave a single pin bone in it. It's gonna hurt your mouth so much when eating. And I don't want you to feel that way, like I did before. And then what you have to do next is to peel off the skin. And it's quite simple, you don't need a knife, just Pinch the edge of the skin and peel off gently, gently, gently. And you want to leave this beautiful silver on the flesh as much as you can. Shorty, you can do better. Anyway, it's finally time to slice into sashimi. When you want to slice any kind of fish into sashimi, there's one thing you want to keep in your mind, which is you wanna slice it through with only one stroke. Then your sashimi will be very beautiful. And this is the last part. Seal the skin side lightly. And I especially love the smell when doing this. It's so amazing. Okay, so let's plate those up. There's one last thing you need to do. Enjoy it. Guys, look at this! Brilliant! So dip into the kimizu sauce and itadakimasu. Actually, this recipe is popular with normal mackerel, but it really works very good with this Japanese horse mackerel too. And of course, you can serve it with soy sauce and wasabi, like the other sashimi. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!